Okay, so let's take a look at the actual process of cutting and copying and pasting on a computer. And again, the steps are basically identical on a Windows or a Mac. The only difference is that on a Mac you use the command key that I showed you, and on a Windows machine you use the control key. So what you do is, you, let's say you're looking at, it could be a word processing document, it could be an email, it could be almost anything, and you just want to copy some stuff. So right here you can see some example text and some more. And let's say I want to take this line here of text, these words, and I want to make a few copies of them. So I would just highlight it like I just did. I just drag my mouse across it. And in some cases you can also triple click, 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 and it will highlight the whole line. And I can hit Command C on a Mac or Control C on a Windows machine, and that copies it, puts it into the clipboard. So let's say I'm going to put it on the next line. I just would hit the Return or Enter key here, and then I hit Command V or Control V. So C to copy, V to paste, and there it is. And if I want to repeat it, I can do it as many times as I want. And that's copying and pasting. Now let's say I want to move some text around. For that, I would want to cut the text. So I drag my mouse across it again, highlight it, and that tells the computer this is the part I want to work with, not the other stuff. And I would hold down the command on, the Windows, on, a, on a Mac or control on a Windows machine, and then type X. And I remember, the way I remembered this originally was X kind of looks like a pair of scissors. So X to cut. And now you can see it just disappeared. And I want to, let's say I want to move it up to the top here. So I'm going to go put, click my, my uh, put, move the mouse pointer up to the top, click. That gives me the cursor, the blinking vertical line, not to be confused with the pointer, which is the mouse pointer that you move around. And I know that wherever the blinking cursor is, that is where the text will appear when I hold down Command on a Mac or Control on a Windows machine and type V. And again, I can do this as many times as I want because the clipboard, it holds one thing at a time, but I can it doesn't empty it when I paste anything. And then if I want to copy some text, uh, again, I would just highlight Control C or Command C, C for copy, scroll back up, click up here, and Control or Command, V to paste, V. And that's it. One other thing that's useful to know is how to select all, and that would be Command or Control A for all. Hold down the key, Control key or the Command key, type A, release both, you've selected everything, and now if I wanted to get rid of everything, I could do X, Command X or Control X, it's all gone, but it's in the clipboard so I can always paste it back again. As simple as that. Okay, now earlier in the video I mentioned when I was explaining what cut is versus copy, I mentioned that there are some times when you use cut and it doesn't work, it does not actually remove the original item. Now basically what happens is if you are editing a document, so if you're working on a, an email, you're working on something in Word, or uh, some other place where you can actually make changes, then Command C or Control C excuse me, Command X or Control X will cut and remove the original text like you saw just a moment ago. But if you're looking at something like say a web page, and let's say you wanted to paste some of this text into, uh, I don't know, if you're a student, you might want to copy uh, and paste a little bit of the text into uh, a Word document that you're writing for a paper. If you want to quote part of it and send it in an email or you're posting something on a blog or, or on Facebook or something, you might want to copy some of that text and paste it. So you would do the same thing and you would highlight, your, highlight the words that you want to copy or cut. But here's the thing, because you can't make changes to a web page when you're just simply viewing it, unless you're the actual owner of the website and you're editing the web page, making changes to it, what happens if you hit Command X or Control X, 
it will try to cut it, but because you can't make changes, it will simply copy it. So you don't really, you don't actually remove it. So I'm going to hit Command X or Control X, and it actually, in this, in some cases, it's going to beep at you because it can't do it, and in other cases, it will just simply copy it and act as if you would hit Command or Control C. So let's see. I hit Command X. It's beeping at me, and if I go over here. It's yes. Yeah, see that what I just pasted was what was still in the in the in the clipboard from before, because it didn't let me cut because I can't make changes. So I would have to hit Command C or Control C to copy it. And now if I go back here, there we go. So the pa the, the text I just highlighted, I was able to cop copy it and paste it, but I could not cut it and paste it. And the, what happens is, depending on what computer you're using, what program you're in, sometimes it'll still let you copy it, but it will never let you cut it. So it's kind of useful to know about. Uh, sometimes people will get confused by that. So since we're on a web page, let me show you one last thing when it comes to copying and pasting. And that's how you can take a website address or a web page address and share it with someone by copying it and pasting it into an email, or you could potentially also do it onto Facebook or something else. So it, what you do is if you're on a web page you want to share, let's just say it's the lesson you're watching right now, you would just go all the way up to the top of the web page, above the actual page and, and near the top of the window, and you'll see the address bar. And it says, in this case, worthgodwin.com, or if I look at this other web page I've got open, it says, a longer address, worthgoblin.com, slash computer training membership, etc. And rather than having to cop remember that and type it all out exactly, it's much easier to copy it. So I click up there and it has selected the entire line, the entire address, or again, you can hold down Command or Control A to select all, and that would do the same thing. And you just need to make sure that the whole address is highlighted, like you see. And then you would type Command or Control C to copy. And then let's just pretend for a moment that this window here is an email. You would just then go V to paste. And there's the entire address. And you don't have to, to type it out exactly. It's done it for you. And then you could email somebody and send them to this lesson so that they know how to copy and paste as well. Okay, so now let's just really quickly take a look at how you do the same thing on a mobile device. Again, all the concepts are exactly the same. You still have cut, copy, and paste. They all mean the same thing, and you still have a clipboard that works the same way. The only difference is you don't have a keyboard. In Generally, you don't use a keyboard to copy or paste or cut. Uh, the keyboard may be involved a little bit, of course, but we'll take a look at this. So I've got a screen open here that is a, a image of my iPad screen. Now again, the steps are the same on an Android device. It may cosmetically look slightly different, but it doesn't matter because the steps are really the same and the concept's the same as it is on a computer. So I've got some words and I want to copy them. So what I do is I'm going to tap on the screen and I can tap and hold on a word and then it, it highlights the word. And you can see now that there are, it's highlighted in blue, just, just like you see on a computer screen. And you've got these little bars on either side, which again, they look slightly different on an Android machine, but it's the same, same idea. And you can grab either one of those bars on the right or the left and drag it. And you can see I'm highlighting the words I want. Okay, so that has highlighted the entire line and then there's a button that says copy. And if I tap that, that copies it. Again, if I want to bring that menu back, let's see, I just messed up and I, met, I did not include the Y. So let me just make, fix that. And by tapping on that bar on the side, it brought the menu back up, which by the way, if you didn't notice before, it has a select all option, which does the same thing as we talked about on the computer. And now I can copy the full text that I wanted and then to paste it, I need to have the keyboard visible on the screen. So to do that, I just tap somewhere. And it might once or twice, you might have to tap to make sure that the uh, cursor comes up, just like the cursor on the computer. And I'm going to hit the return key on the keyboard. And I'm going to paste that text down in the bottom. Now, as long as the keyboard is available, 
I have an additional option which I did not have before when I tap and hold and release the button, release the screen, and I have paste. You can see there it's sort of right about in the middle. Paste, and there it is. And that's exactly how you do it on a mobile device. If you found this lesson helpful, you may be watching it inside of, or inside of the Windows or Mac Basics course, but if you haven't, if you're watching it on like a separate page, if you look below the video, you're going to see a couple of buttons that look like this, and these buttons will take you to the Windows Basics course or the Mac Basics course, which you are free to look at and study from and learn from on my website. And if you click either one of these buttons, let's take a look at the Windows one. The layout is, is very similar on almost identical on both courses. What you'll see is six modules, and the second module goes more in depth on keyboard shortcuts and how to use the modifier keys that we've talked about a little bit in this lesson, including not just the control key, but also shift and option on the Mac and so forth. And so I encourage you to go through those lessons. And of course, module five goes into more depth on editing documents. It does talk, again, a little more in depth about copying and pasting. It gives you some other examples of how to use it and how to make things easier for you when you're working with written documents, uh, like a Word document or email or what have you. Feel free to browse through those lessons and benefit from them. And you can one way you can practice copying and pasting is, of course, sharing a link to this video by copying the address from the address bar, pasting it into an email, and sending it to a few friends who you think would be interested and might benefit from it. So once again, this is Worth Godwin, worthgodwin.com, plain English simplicity for a complex modern world. I hope that helps.